Patricia. Did you see? Hold on. Did you see the video of Billy and uh, Phineas singing together, and Phineas's voice cracked? No. And wait. she started laughing uh, during the live performance, and it was so funny because she like couldn't keep it in because it was like such, such like a, a good relationship. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be, so if I was fun. performing with my brother or such, I'd be fucking up all like, the time. Yeah, yeah. Imagine no way. If all these voice cracked or something, you'd be like, ah! I'd bust out. Like, the whole thing would be. I would have to. Have, I'd have to start the song all over again. There's okay. no way. And in front of all of those people. Like oh, it's the worst. To me, that's get, not like, embarrassing. I know, though. but I get like church giggles. Like if I'm in church, I'm just like, it's <laughs> oh, yeah. the worst yeah. place where you have to like get caught laughing, and then you're laughing in front of just tons of people. Yeah. Do you get like funeral giggles? I get it. I get it. Bad. Funeral giggles. Yes. Because it's supposed to be sad, but like it just my my brain would just play a trick on me, and you're just like, it's this like is a, sad. it's a defense is... mechanism, right? Like you're yeah. like in a really uncomfortable situation, you mm. don't know how to feel, so you just yeah, it's like nervous laughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a bad time though. <laughs> it's it's just because you know you're supposed to be sad but like you're seeing other people's face and there's one face that just like it's just not what it's supposed to look like and then it just if i ever die young please don't let zane speak at my funeral don't say that don't say that that's fucking awful he would kill it i would actually no zane would be nervous (laughs) (laughs) he wouldn't even be in a state of mourning at your funeral he'd be more nervous about speaking at your funeral yeah Yeah, i would i'd be really nervous i'd be like mariah what what should i say and she's like i don't fucking know this is Heath's funeral uh, i remember when Heath went to Devry University. <laughs> Devry. Yeah. Devry. Devry. Oh my god. No, I, no, I would actually have it all written down, and I actually have half of it written down already. Just in yeah, case. Zane would bring a teleprompter, yeah. like wheel it in, like a projector. From oh yeah, school. I'd be like production <laughs> lights. Can we can we cut that? Can I start that over? Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, it'll yeah. just can be better for TikTok. <laughs> I'll just oh hide. my god, <laughs> Zane trying to get TikTok clips at my funeral. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fun. We're laughing about it now, but when we were talking about you on the high episode, I was like, change the subject. I'm done with this. Oh, the... oh yeah, we were in our head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just okay. jump right into yeah, that, it. Yeah, what a what a strong start. <laughs> what to a fucking strong... great. <laughs> it's coffee time, to baby. Life, baby. <laughs> Everything's recording, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're going, right? Guys, I would not, trust me, I would not forget to turn the cameras <laughs> off because that would be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, trust co- me. Dude, the confidence. I, I'll <laughs> never get over that. No, I'll never get over that. Trust me. <laughs> trust me. We had some close calls in the past where we actually did have to redo an entire yeah. episode. I think yeah. there's been twice, twice right? Twice. Which yeah. isn't too bad, I feel like. And that's when yeah. we first started. For yeah. us, so that that's was really good. Yes, for us. Because we fuck up a lot. We've come a long way. Well, welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Thank you. Oh. Thanks, Zane. I really appreciate it. Are you going to introduce yourself? I, I feel like I do it too much now. I have to let you guys do it. Hey, guys. I'm Heath. I'm, I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And, and I'm that's Zane. Zane. <laughs> and this is Cremota Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know we have our own coffee company, you should yeah. make sure to check it out. We have uh, bags with coffee grinds in it. And then we also have the K-Cups in five different flavors right now. you mm-hmm. got cinnamon French toast, Tahitian vanilla. We have the house blend and now decaf and also sweet butter hazelnut. <laughs> Ooh. Barking at him. Sorry. That was a lot of a lot of bark burp. I had the big fat cookies in your kitchen with the coffee. Yeah. Yeah, I ate too much. But you can get it at Cremota.com. Fully stocked still. Make sure to check it out. Also, we have an unfiltered highlights channel where you can see all the best moments starting from the first episode to the latest episode. Um, Yeah, you can check it out. YouTube.com slash unfiltered highlights. We post like three times a day. So you'll see a ton of stuff on there. Funny stuff. And make sure to subscribe. Last episode was great with Miss Juicy. (gasps) Oh, I miss her. I know. I know. I miss her. That was great. She's so pure. She's just so. She's a simple gal. We're all moving to Atlanta. Do you think her house is like. No, she said she had it custom built like oh, okay. for her. Yeah, like, before she moved. For her <laughs> We'd needs. be taking pictures in there and people would be like, where are you? <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the perspective of things. It's like Willy Wonka. Wonka. Yeah, you know, yeah, when yeah, they like, yeah. walk yeah. into the corner it and it just like... gets smaller oh, and smaller. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I realized about the movie Willy Wonka? The scene with the, uh, where he the candy man. No, the oh. candy man can and he mixes it with chocolate. Make the world taste good. good. Not Willy the Wonka. New, the the original one or the new one? The original. With the I candy the man, original. and he's talking to all the kids in the candy shop. Oh, the, the, oh. the door! He opens up, you know, like the little, <laughs> uh, the bar opening where, like, you know, you lift up the uh-huh. bar and you can walk through it. One of the little girls, she like, chin rocked. was on it, gets <gasps> hit. No way. She she on the, in the shot? Yeah. Yes. She got hit, and then she just looked straight, and she just kept going. Yeah. But wow. she got rocked. 
that clip's in props to her. Yeah, in, right. Committed. And then in Star Wars, one time, like the stormtroopers were walking through like a door that was opening, and one of them hit hits their heads, and that's included <laughs> in the movie. I love when that sounds fucked up. When when actors or actresses get like injured or hurt or like something that like is happening during like a film. Oh, kind and, of, and uh, they like play it off, and you're like, "Whoa, they're crazy actors!" But like, they literally like slice their hand open while doing something, yeah. and it's like yeah. real blood, and that's like their genuine reaction. It's like, right, like but Django, like, you know Django. They're still in character. What happened yeah. in Django? Well, in Django, I think that's what he's talking about because you, you're literally saying yeah. that scene. But Jan, uh, uh, Leo, Leo, Leo's character, he slices his hand open, and it was actually real. He didn't mean to slice it open, like because he like broke mm -hmm. a glass, and he just kept going like throughout the whole scene. Whoa! With his, with like a slice. That's hand. also yeah. like the Three Stooges. They do their own stunts, so they were actually getting injured like the whole time. <gasps> That's wild. Pretty yeah. sad. And Pretty even cool. like Alfred Hitchcock in the movie Birds, like would tie actual birds to the actors. Yeah, you said Whoa. that the other day, and I was like, that blows my mind. Yeah. That movie, that that movie with the, the birds, birds chasing. Yes, birds are attached to the, to all the actors. Oh, that would you've done it. Literally. <laughs> That yeah, would not the, fly today. Literally not fly. Oh, yeah. um, That's why they have stunt doubles. Birds? For birds? Well. They just. Oh, there would be no way they would allow birds to be yeah, tied. Yeah, being strapped to, down yeah, to a person. No way. Did Willy Wonka squirrels get trained? I think they were. Yeah. Like the, when all the squirrels in the new Willy Wonka go yeah. up to that girl, they were all like trained to like attack her. Oh, but it was a, I don't remember, but I would think it was CGI or something. No, they that were real squirrels. Really? Yeah. I used to have two pet squirrels. No way. Mm -hmm. How? Um, they were in our backyard, and uh, my, <laughs> my brother and my dad... My grandparents out. had a couple, too, if that's yeah. the case. No, no. <laughs> well, then we have a few in our backyard. Yeah, they were running around. But your dad trained them. Like, they yeah, would run no, they were all, the greatest things yeah. in the world. So my brother was out, like, cutting the grass with my dad, and then all of a sudden, he was like... <laughs> Perfect timing, actually, because if he would have fallen a little bit earlier, it would have been bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, but my brother was like cutting the grass and got hit in the head by something. And he was like, "What the hell was that?" And he looked up and then like looked around, and there was a baby squirrel that <gasps> fell out of a tree and hit him. So he like picked him up and then was like looking up, and there was another one hanging on up above too. And there was like no like mama squirrel around. So he like took his t-shirt off and like waited there. And like caught it as the second one fell and like caught him in a t-shirt. <laughs> what? Yeah. Just like a fire department. Catching yeah, someone, that's, that's like, how it's like a cat, a cat in a tree. tree. Yeah. Does that happen so, often? so we took them both and uh, started bottle feeding them. And then my dad had like this old bird cage because he used to like have birds. So we like put them in there. And uh, yeah, they were just like the cutest little things. And then, like they started getting bigger and bigger. And my dad, we would like have dinner, and he would like put him in the pocket of his shirt. No so way. So he would, they would like be at the dinner table with a us, dream. and he would like just be sitting there. And my a dad dream. would like give him like little snacks and stuff. They were the coolest, thing. and they would like run around the house. Doesn't that sound like how, heaven? How common is it for squirrels to be that like? I mean, if you get them as babies and they trust babies. you, and they don't have anybody else, yeah. yeah. So that the one that your dad caught was a baby. They're both babies. Both squirrels babies. are yeah. easy to gain trust. It's it's a, it takes a lot of patience, yeah. but they they'll come to you. Yeah. yeah. Were you my friend when I had the parrot? You had a parrot. <laughs> yeah. You weren't like ever at my house when I had like a parrot. No, I would have <laughs> I would have remembered that. It was a crazy like it was a crazy story how I got the parrot, but the parrot just like landed on my in my stepdad's shoulder. A parrot, what? a parrot or a parakeet? A, it was a parakeet. Oh, maybe. that's a parrots talk. <laughs> Parrots, parakeets are little. Parrots little, are like, big. Wait, hold on. A, a parrot is like this big. Okay, parakeets no, no, it wasn't a parrot. It wasn't a parrot. It was like a. It was like <laughs> a cockatoo. Maybe it's a cockatoo, but it was, was like it, a, it looked like a very male. What like, color was it? It's it was a toucan. <laughs> that would no, be that's crazy. What it, like, I swear to God, it looked like a fucking Where toucan. Where the hell are toucans? It didn't look man. like a parakeet. <laughs> Why can't toucans know, right? be like what? as common as the American crow? You like know? you have toucans in Florida, like what in the rain. What did the imagine the world with like <gasps> just toucans everywhere, like pigeons are? Parrots like, freak me out sometimes. Like the really beautiful red parrots. Like uh, you ever see that the guy Macaws. who's like you see that guy who's like skating and has like two parrots just flying on no, his arms. That's cool. Like on leashes. It's insane. They're intimidating. Okay, so it looked like it, it looked like, like, like Kate. I had like one of those. My God. But no, but it's crazy because it landed on his shoulder and it wouldn't leave for like the whole fucking day. I think it, it was somebody's leave. house pet then. And it flew away. Ah. Uh. Isn't it crazy when you hear about stories where someone's pet like got lost and then they found it like two states away? Yeah. 
I've seen a couple TikToks where like their dog would get out and then they'd find it in like a couple houses down, like in that the people like stole it. Oh, yeah. And they like tried to get it back. I love and confrontation about like people. It's like, who yeah. This is my dog. It's like, no, it's my dog it's now. It's mine now. Yeah. And it's it's like, mine they renamed now. it. Yeah. Oof. But like you could clearly tell the dog wants to go back with its original <laughs> oh, owner. Yeah. It's like trying to like As soon as you see as soon as the dog sees the owner, it fucking runs back. Judge Judy had an episode where like I, she's like, bring I up the dog. dog. Put the dog down. Don't, Put the don't, dog don't, down. Take the dog home. And she was like, it's his dog, case closed. I just like I pictured <laughs> it ran back, it ran back to the guy. I pictured like Airbud where they put the dog in the middle and they're both just like Yes, and they're cool. no, come here. And like they're both like trying to get it to like Yeah. One time I was at my friend's house when I was like five or four years old, um, and a bird flew down their chimney and was like in their fireplace. Like we were just like playing around and I heard like a flutter happening and then like I got up close and I'm like Turn that fireplace there, on. No. <laughs> Get him back out. There was, a bird, there was a bird in it. It was like an injured bird that had fell down into their fireplace Ooh. and they like took care of it and we would like keep an eye on it like throughout an entire week nursing it back to health. And then we decided to like go outside and let it go. No. And they oh, let it no. fly. And it flew right into a car. No. Like, no. Why does that always Just, happen? No. Hit the what car, does it mean? but it still lived. The, then the bird lived, and then we nursed it for like a whole nother week. <laughs> and then we went Shit. to the park, and then it went away. That's like, like me going out. That's like me enjoying myself, and I go out again with you guys. Maybe it was a sign. Maybe he wasn't ready to be into the in the real world. Yes, but I remember just all of us. We we're like, you know, five years old, all <laughs> happy, free. like we're letting the bird go, and it just <laughs> hits the car. That reminds me of that documentary that I saw. It was a it was like a little bird that was like gonna go off a cliff, you know, first time flying, and it, it like jumps off the cliff. Falls just completely. Didn't know how to fly. Didn't know how to fly and it falls all the way down. It was like a hard fall, like hundreds of feet down. Landed on the rocks and and then 15 seconds later, gets back up and starts walking away. But a, it was it. a little bird that fell like off a cliff to its oh, death. Oh man. And it, survived it. it. <laughs> It reminds me, you know, when they like free the animal and then like a hawk will come down and just oh. swoop it. <laughs> yes. Like, you know, what I mean, people. It happens. Dude, that happened to me. All the time. Well, it happened. I was at a lake one time hanging out with some friends. We were chilling by the beach. I was on mushrooms. I don't want to put that part. Fuck yeah, dude. Then Damn. don't say it, Matt. <laughs> I was with. <laughs> Why? Then like, don't say it. Because he's the, the story's flowing so well. And he's just like, by the way, I was on mushrooms. But no, don't put that I'm in. sorry. It just it reminded me. But like, guys, it's I fine. Don't, Whatever. He does mushrooms don't sometimes. Put, sh we saying that? You've always. Sure. You've said it multiple I times. I did it once. I, I, won't, I won't mind saying it. Sure. I've done yeah, mushrooms I was once. on mushrooms. It didn't, it didn't <laughs> work So for I was though. tripping out. And I see this little bird out there on the water trying to stay afloat. And we're like, oh my gosh, there's a bird out there and it can't swim. And I was like immediately like into like survivor mode. I got a noodle, a water noodle, and I go all the way out there. And this bird is like freaking out. It's like trying to like peck at me. And I'm just like, easy little guy, easy little guy. And I got him right onto the noodle and I swim all the way back to bring oh, cool. him to shore. And this Very bird nice. was freaking out. Like it just couldn't believe like how long it had mm. been out there trying to survive. And But like it couldn't fly. It was just like soaked wet. We like gave it some food and we kept our eye on it. And then eventually we were like, all right, let's go back to our campsite. I was like, all right, see you little guy. And I'm walking back, the sun's setting. And I look back at the bird. All of a sudden, I just see this bolter. <laughs> no! Just like hovering in the no, air. I would have ran back. Did you watch it happen? I walked away. Oh, <laughs> no, no! Matt! Matt, that's fucked up. You what? couldn't, you couldn't like try to, you couldn't Carry like, it back to like, dude. Yes. Yeah! You, Put you it by worked the fire. so hard. You've worked it's so freezing. hard to save it. Oh, I love a good animal rescue story. I was on mushrooms. I was freaking That's why. out. I don't know. It was so far. You don't understand the distance, and I was barefoot. I went through a lot. On the barefoot on Raya. the beach. Drugs killed the bird. <laughs> yep. Right. Don't do drugs. Uh, don't Negligence. Do drugs. Save animals. Don't do drugs. <laughs> I think about that bird like once a week. So. <laughs> Shit, I would too. It's like you saving a pig from a farm for Thanksgiving feast back at home. That's what you did for that bird. A pig on Thanksgiving? Mm-hmm. I thought we eat turkeys on Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, so that, okay. no, no, you eat ham too. I was like, wait, what? You don't eat ham for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yeah, we, we do make a ham, but, oh, I, okay. but that's not the main fuck? dish. I, I don't know, really well, care about I thought about... of when you'd eat ham, you'd eat ham on Thanksgiving. I've eaten ham on that. Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have, bitch. <laughs> bitch, I've seen you put bacon on everything. Remember when I got that pork brand deal? <laughs>
a pork brand. That's pretty fucking nuts. I can't believe that I. It was like four. It wasn't like no a pork brand. Br it was just pork. Like I'm the I, meat. Like, who? Just, also, who? What influencers do I see ever getting sponsored by a pork? <laughs> Never in my life. Just, they targeted you. No, I mean I yeah. Eat it, so so yeah. It, like it, that, it wasn't a brand. It was just for the overall. I'm meat. hitting a bunch of young impressionable teens. That probably don't know what pork is yet. Are are pig sales like <laughs> down that much that they need to start doing YouTube fucking <laughs> brand deals? Yeah. Yeah. Make yeah. Sense. Is there like a sales? surplus of pork? We gotta get rid of this. <laughs> That does give it to Zane. not make sense at all. It doesn't, I think that no, is trust the strangest me. thing I've that ever heard. Like 2016 <laughs> YouTube ad deals were just like, hey guys, make sure to eat more poultry. Um, we're just trying to really push um, eating chickens. Like, there's no way someone watched like, that and went, we need to buy pork for next week. Or, you know, maybe it worked. I don't know. Is that it video wasn't a still brand. up? Is that video still up? It's still up. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird time what a weird time speaking of animals did you hear about the tiger that got loose in a houston oh, yes. suburb no i, I, I just love saw love it. to see that someone started like filming in like you know this cute little houston suburb a tiger just walking down the street how big is this tiger full grown Tigers full grown, are massive. Full like grown big fucking tiger. tiger yeah yeah were you seeing like the zoos like the fucking just yes yo um, that's like you're going, to, you're going to jump or murder whoever that fucking dude is. Imagine alive. walking out of your house to get the mail. You're just... <laughs> or, yeah, and imagine just driving by, just like. <laughs> Even just driving. It, and you just go, what? <laughs> That's a love... tiger. I feel like I'd be, like, I'd think I was tripping. Yes. Yeah. I, no, completely. I think there's no way I what imagine. I'm seeing. I, like, it's an illusion. You would, like, 100% do that. Just yeah. to make sure you're fucking away. And apparently a guy, so someone was filming it from the clip I saw, and I'm sorry if I don't have all the facts right, look into it for yourself, but a guy who was like a Texas Ranger, not a the baseball team, the Texas Rangers, like... Why like do you look at me, actual, like, look at me like, and Walker, Texas Ranger. Right, it's right, like right. A, It's like a level... It's like uh, almost like a sheriff. Yeah, it's almost like a sheriff. Um, like off duty, he gets out, like pulls out a gun, has it like face towards the tiger, and apparently the owner of the tiger like came out and just you know took it like a dog and uh, gr grabbed the collar and just took it back into their house. Is that allowed? Well, in well, the state of Texas, Texas. <laughs> having a tiger. <laughs> um, I think you. Ha you know, in the state, Mike Tyson had one. No, in the state of Texas, uh, you can have a tiger. Not now for certain cities, you can't. You know there are more. Sorry, I'm talking about Texas. No, you're good. There are more tigers held in like captivity or like in the privacy of people's homes in the state of Texas than there are tigers in the wild. That's absolutely absurd. Oh. That, yeah. So Is that, I think, that's that's real. Yes, that's fucking crazy. Yo, when I was a kid, my my cousins who live out like in Bridgeport, I remember when I was a kid getting on their little mule, which is you know that kind of like yeah. golf cart farm thing driving to one of their neighbor's properties and looking at tigers in their backyard what, what? yes fuck? that sounds so fucking illegal yes no it is it's completely legal in but texas like, I, like I feel bad what's the point i don't of get the point of it because like a dog you got it in your house they love you they cuddle with you do stuff like that but like if you have a tiger in just a giant cage in your backyard and you feed it like raw meat every day and it just like is it like for the thrill like yeah, i feel just so to be bad like, I have a they tiger. don't belong yeah. there yeah, that's like exactly you're fucking what ego it is. trip like loser yeah i mean i mean i guess what's the difference between that and zoos you know what i mean zoos are just as bad well a lot of zoos like... are like rehabilitating the animal yeah i like those zoos yeah, or it's a rescued animal. Right. Yeah. Like it's like rehab yeah. and, then they, and then they bring them back to their yeah. land. They're looking into it, and obviously this guy's probably going to get fined hundreds of thousands of dollars oh, yeah. for oh. having it like in that dangerous of an area. But he probably had a ranch, like took the tiger, like, oh, we're just going to go home and keep it a secret. <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine you... him realizing it's not in the cage. <laughs> like, Karen, feeding time. <laughs> Karen? I feel like tigers are smart. Like what they're like, you know what? One day I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna attack this owner. That's usually you know what, what happens. Yeah, they they go, snap. they yeah, they snap like Yeesh. after they you know hit puberty no. and stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I I do like those sanctuaries where you can like hold the baby tiger. I've never done it, but I do want to like hold one and pet one and then just like put it back where it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I just love them so much. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I want to. I just want to hold a freaking monkey. 
No. Oh, we held I one in so Miami. That shit dreams. was fucking fun. You can bite your cool. finger off. Next time we go to Miami, we should go to that that zoo. The monkey. With a monkey. Monkey zoo? I want to go. The monkey zoo. That monkey had like a mind of its own. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, Zane, you said you wanted to play something? Oh, no. I have a, I have a gift for you. Oh. I have a surprise. Is it that wrapped present that's been like yes, you didn't over fuck, there? Yes, you didn't peek at it, did no, you? No, I didn't peek. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to bring it. <gasps> this is exciting. A present. No time like the present. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is like a little housewarming gift. I've been in this house for a year. I know, <laughs> I know but you're about to renew, so it's like kind I of did, like I it's did. like we a, just renewed our lease. There you go. So this is Great. like a renew. Re, it's a renew. Uh, wow. Renew More oh, You renewed your vows to yeah. the house. He's nuking it. After you open it, I'll tell you a little backstory <laughs> of it. <laughs> What'd you say? It, it was good. It's hard it to good. explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said he's it. like instead of like a house warming, like it's like oh he's just nuking it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. putting it back nice. in the microwave. That was cute. Oh, that's <laughs> it's fine. This has I been, understood it. I feel like this has been sitting here for weeks. Yeah. Well, because I was supposed to surprise it like four episodes ago, but we didn't, never got to it. <gasps> it's a coffee table. Yeah, it's a coffee tray. Cool. So, because Mariah does like charcut charcuteries all the time, That's so you can do a charcuterie. Oh my God. Wait, this is the are one there coffee beans in it? Yeah. Hold on. You, he, uh, so there's a guy God on TikTok. Damn it, Dave, you never wrap with glitter. Oh, oh my fuck. God. My bad, man. I was just thinking that. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Blame Devin. He bought the wrapping paper. And wrapped it probably. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck you. wrapped it. I'm not good at wrapping. Wait, that is great. Really cool. So wow. he makes tables on TikTok and he it's actually like he puts the coffee beans in it, puts the Now you thought you were buying though oh, a like, cup. Is this what you spent? Yeah, $2, wait, I, I, no, I, no, on? okay. So <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I was a little like mm. Can I say my side? Yeah. When you were explaining it and you said it was a table and you were explaining how they made it, I was like, I saw the exact same TikTok, but it was a tr a serving tray. Okay. And I was like, you know what? Knowing Zane, it's a serving tray. And then when you brought the size of it, I was like, <laughs> it's on a table. <laughs> Mariah, okay, so when I saw that, I went to the website. I don't I, I didn't look at the full picture. I was just like, I need to get it before anybody else does. So I bought it and went, boom, done. I don't care the price. Like, I want to get this for Heath. And I bought it. And then I, <laughs> after it was fully there, I was like, oh fuck, it's a table, not a tray. No. I the picture oh. didn't really I didn't really look at the picture. I just knew that was it, but it wasn't it. It was this a table, is really cool. not Thank a tray. You. So Wait. you talked to the guy and made sure you were getting the tray, not the table? Yeah, the table okay. is at my house, which I can't put what? it in. What? You got what? Uh, what? Well, no. So he sent this as a gift. Oh. As, a, as a gift, but the table is like what I bought. The table was like the seven hundred seven hundred dollars, or was how much? It was, was like eight hundred dollars. Okay, that's why I was like, oh and my god, he spent eight hundred dollars on this. And he, I, I told him that I was gonna surprise Heath on the podcast. He's like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna give like an extra gift, and it was that. Pull, can you put it like this? I love it. That is so sick. Wow, that's really well done. Yeah. Oh, we can it's put it sick. right here. Perfect. This goes great with the set. It's coffee talk. <gasps> how far? Oh, oh my. Oh, wow, that's perfect. I'm gonna get little, put little espresso shots on there with like the Scotty mm. and there cookies. There you go. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys gosh. can take pictures with the the product shots. Right. Oh, he, sa he said if we want, he wants to make yes. us a little table over here. No way. So he said to give him uh, dimensions and he'll make one for us right here. Incredible. For this, for, like oh, this I spot. Love that. That's sick. That would be really cool. sick. So the guys that made this, their uh, Instagram is Backyard Resin, R-E-S-I-N. They make incredible stuff. So um, cool. They make tables like this, trays like this. They make all types of shit. They yeah, put yeah, like yeah. Uh, shit in it and then they put the, cool. the thing on it. I don't know the name of it, but they make it's cool resin. shit if you want to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> resin. There you go. He has resin. I didn't even know that was called fucking resin. Resin. See, that's so thoughtful. Thank I you. love it. That was really sweet. I appreciate it. Thank you. Heath, got a gift for Zane? Yeah, do you have a gift for me? <laughs> The gift of love and friendship. Fine, I'll take the trade back when I leave. <laughs> Thank you, Zane. <laughs> wow. All right, move on, move on. Let's go to the next topic. <laughs> a lady delivered a baby on a plane. <laughs> you want to do that one? That's interesting. Uh, okay. Well, speaking uh, of coffee beans, there was a brand new coffee bean that was delivered on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I Very did good. see that. I did see that. Yeah, a woman. What, what was that crazy legs dance you just oh, did? Oh, it was. I had a little. Um, a little <laughs> I got wedgie. my joke. I had a, <laughs> <laughs> right so out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely insane. The lady gave birth on a Delta flight, and it, there were three doctors on the flight. Right? What are the odds? Well, first of all, don't you know that you're about to deliver a baby? Oh, she didn't know, know she's she's pregnant. Pregnant. she didn't know. 
I'm sorry, what? She didn't know she was what pregnant. What do you mean? How did she not know she's pregnant there's when she's an, fucking... There's an entire show about yes. it. I didn't know it's I was pretty, pregnant. It's pretty common, but not very common. Right. Wait a I, fucking I, minute. It's crazy. I mean, I'm not a girl, but I understand like irregular periods. But if you go almost a year without a period, I would be very concerned. Can you I think I've almost it? done it. If you're sitting almost there... Almost a year without a period? Almost. Wow. When I was like dancing strictly. Like there are gymnasts that never get it. Like if you're super athletic, it's rare. Wait, well, not rare. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Don't you Ugh. feel God, the don't, baby? Don't, don't. <laughs> don't you feel the baby kicking inside That's of you? Every Some people are of different, different sizes and shapes and how they know their yeah. body. Everybody's we don't know. different. But yeah. Thank God it wasn't on a spirit flight because they would have probably like charged. Oh, yeah. oh charging yeah. them for everything. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. my> <laughs> Ma'am, uh, ma'am, ma'am, you need to put that under the seat. Oh, you have <laughs> to pay just... extra for water. Yeah, Do you need yeah. water? Oh, you're going to have to pay extra. Do you have any? Oh, my God. Just go ahead and swipe your credit card right here, and we will deliver your child. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, wait, where were they flying to, and where were they flying from? Not sure. It was what a TikTok. Is the baby? Wasn't it He's Hawaii? Like, it, oh, yeah. I think they were going to Hawaii. Yes, they were going to Hawaii because there's a picture of her in the hospital there with, like, a lay on her. So oh. he okay, so he can still run for president and stuff. I was thinking like, what if you were over like international yeah. Oh, waters? Yeah, what, yeah. Where, what if you where were you considered born? Yeah, yeah. So she was born on the Pacific Ocean. Can you imagine though, like if you were just on that flight, just like passed out the entire time, <laughs> and just like I'm not in the mood to like really. <laughs> no, if it did, if a if a lady was delivering a baby on a plane, I'd be fucking up. I'd be like, I gotta see this shit yeah. go down. Did you I see would, the, you don't the picture see that. of everybody? Everybody was just, just like their minding their own business in the picture. I'd be there holding her hand. I'd be like, let's get this fucking right. baby yeah, out. Mate, sir, go back to your seat. <laughs> right. I like always sleep through flights. And if I slept through that and woke up, like, did you see the lady had a baby? <laughs> I'd be like, I would be what? so mad. Imagine yeah. waking like, up imagine with an extra knowing... passenger on a plane. Yeah. How imagine that? knowing you slept through that, like going on in your flight. I would be so bummed. <laughs> If I didn't know I was pregnant though, and I did that to an entire plate, I'd be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know, just like not Imagine. knowing you had to make all this attention about yourself. Like, I didn't know. How long, like, how long was the flight still going on after the birth? Like, was she just sitting there with like right. a like a newborn? Yeah. For like a couple hours. Like, how long? I don't <sighs> Do you think do you think when they got to the gate, Delta was just like Ma'am, we're gonna we're we're gonna need to charge you for the extra ticket that, for the for the extra passenger that you popped out. Your on extra plane. No carry on. Way. Does that show up like on a TSA scan? What? Oh, a if somebody's pregnant? <laughs> no. no, you have to go no. get a sonogram. Yeah. Do you think, oh, you could tell if someone was pregnant by just like getting an X-ray. It'd be as easy I as don't walking know. through a fucking TSA. You, you never know. That's a crazy story. Wow, it's pretty fucking nuts. Does she have to buy another ticket then, like to take him back? <laughs> no, uh, you don't pay for new people under two years. No, no, when when they fly oh. back from Hawaii, that's why people take trips. Let's get yeah with bit. toddlers. <laughs> yeah, you don't take. I think, or maybe when they're two. But if they're like if they're like in a carriage or or uh-huh. a, or a seat, you don't pay for them. Oh. I think once again, I'm. Who knows? We just talk out of our ass on this show. <laughs> but there's I'm no nurse sure. on board. It's only doctors. Do you so- think there's a uh, like a, a marshal on every flight. I feel yeah. like yeah. there has to uh, be. It, it, there right? is. I right? love trying to spot. Them. I know, me, me too. too. I try to look for it when they're walking by. Like, I've sat next to one. You found out. You can. Yeah, you it? Can, you can tell because they're not doing anything. <laughs> they're not. Well, I don't do anything, anything on a flight. Anything. No, because they they uh they can't be like reading a book. They can't be like Why looking not? at. I mean, you have to be hidden. No. Um. You know, usually it's a guy in a suit who's just not doing anything in a suit. Yeah. Really? Sometimes. Like, like always, wait, why does he always have to be, to, like, be awake, right? undercover? Yep. Oh, yeah. awake why does just... he have to be secretive? Why can't you just I would feel so much better if he was like, It's me. No, yeah, it's like because, a random because then it's a target. Then it's a target. Oh, yeah, you, know, you don't are want to are, are aware of it and they'll hey, be doing things if he's not looking. <laughs> like um, something so stupid. <laughs> Next time I'm on a flight when people walk by, I'm just gonna go, Hey, I'm the marshal. I got you. I got you. Hey, you're safe with me. You're safe with me. Weren't you and me on a flight and Right when we landed, they escorted somebody off. Oh, who yeah. Was I, think I, was, I think I was on it, too, because I, I remember seeing... We were, like, coming back from Vegas or something. And I think they we found... made it no big deal. But yes, someone when was we clearly landed. trying to get out of town. Yes. Yeah. And they notified the, the airline that this person was on our flight. 
that caused no ruckus or anything. I think it all happened while we were just passengers. They and did a good the job. The first person yeah. off was this dude in handcuffs. It did a good job of keeping it fucking just quiet back there, huh? Yeah, that's why it was just such Nobody a good shocker, it. right? When like we were all sitting there and just some dude who was like, uh, I feel like it was almost like those, uh, what do you call them? Plastic Zip ties. ties. Zip ties. Why am I? Just imagine chaos on a plane, like in the middle of like just chaos, just everybody just freaking out. <laughs> I try not to, Zay. Yeah. I try not to. Just imagine this. Carly sends me fucking TikToks all the time of just like, I know. just terrifying. freak outs on planes. I'm just like, Carly, why are you sending me this? She's like, because I know you'd hate it. Because <laughs> I know you'd hate it. Oh, what was I just... Did you guys hear about, did you hear about the lady? It was from a TikTok that I was watching, but a lady got her entire wedding canceled because you know, when, you know, like in movies or as a joke, when they're about to get married and the, the people marrying them goes, um, does, en does anybody object? And then yeah. one person goes, I do. Well, this friend did it as a joke during this, like her, like her friend's wedding. And the, they had to cancel the wedding because the like it's it's like an actual when you say I do like I object they have to cancel the wedding even like, as it, a joke yeah where are they getting married it was at? like a whole thing that I saw in like a courthouse sure maybe yeah maybe I don't know where exactly That's where it was a casual wedding whoever I, I mean like I'm, a, a I'm a trained officiate like I, <laughs> <laughs> oh! even if, if that happened I wouldn't cancel the damn wedding if it was a joke yeah. I know but I don't think it's like up to, I think it's just like the, I don't I feel know like it happens a lot I, if you watched her TikTok you'd be very convinced uh, it was like what that's <laughs> You know they were just drinking right before the wedding. Thought it was yeah, fun. so dramatic. You're drunk in front of Amber. She, your no, old like her sister. whole thing got canceled. That's that's what I saw. I don't know. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, DoorDash. Dinner, check. Mm. Deodorant, <laughs> check. A quick pick me up from Dunkin', check. Get everything you need and as fast as you need with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now, right to your door. And now you can get the grocery essentials you need with DoorDash, baby. You can get drinks, snacks, anything you need for your house in less than an hour. And ordering with DoorDash is so easy. All you got to do is open up the app, choose exactly what you want, and it will be left outside your door with the new contactless delivery. And with over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants. Popeyes. Chipotle. <laughs> and Cheesecake Factory, baby. Your favorite. The, the national, I, baby. I actually, Mariah and I have ordered Cheesecake Factory three nights in a row. Like it, it's just so easy and convenient. Like it, I, you know, it comes hot. It is unreal. People don't know that Cheesecake Factory comes hot. It doesn't matter how far it is. It, it is comes quick. steamy. Yes. I just ordered the other night, baby. With the, it just only, makes it so easy, and you're just like, sometimes you just don't feel like getting up, or sometimes you're doing something, and you don't have the time to go run out and go pick it up. Exactly. Baby, why not have somebody DoorDash it to you? It's perfect. And for a limited time, our listeners are going to get 25% off and zero delivery fees of your first order of $15 or more. When you download the DoorDash app and use code UNFILTER2021. That's 25% off up to a $10 value on your first order plus zero delivery fees. Subject to change. Terms apply. We also want to give a big thank you to the sponsor of this episode, Brooke Linen. Guys, we're about to hit summer break. Uh -huh. You know, we got to change our behalf a little bit. We need new sheets. Uh huh. Tell them. New pillowcases. Yep, baby. Just do just fabric. Some, something to feel alive again. Ooh, you know something, what I mean? You know, just something silky. Something to cool you down for the summer. Uh huh, baby. You want to dive right up into that bed. That's why you need Brooke Linen. Brooke Linen was started to create beautiful, high quality home essentials that you need and want to treat yourself to and not cost you an arm and a leg. Brooklyn and has something for your every comfort need and they're always coming out with new patterns and colors all the time. We're talking buttery soft breathable sheets. Did you say butter? Baby, I know you love butter. That's all I heard. <laughs> They've got plush and absorbent towels, cozy robes, comfy loungewear. Trust me, you're never going to want to take it off or get out of your bed. Guys, they're so confident in their core products where they give you a 365 day guarantee. That's pretty unreal. Like, imagine trying something out for a year and being, you know what I mean? Like exactly. That is, that is remarkable. And fans are confident about it, too. My mom actually just uh, messaged me about Brooklyn and 
like two days ago. Really? Yeah, because she heard on the ad read and she was like, did you you put it on your, your, your bed? And I was like, yeah. She was like, I'm going to order one right now. There you go. And I was like, baby, we got our first sale we, right there. We hit our, that's the first people we hit when we do these ad reads. I our know. Parents hit, we hit our parents first and then the rest come through. But yeah, no, she's super excited. She's getting them soon. Well, they've received over 75,000 five-star reviews and counting. I mean, you, baby, numbers don't lie. And their customer service, <clears throat> a dream to work with. They clearly get their eight hours a night. <laughs> He's very good. <laughs> so give yourself the comfort refresh you deserve and get it for less at Brooklinen. So go to brooklinen.com and use promo code unfiltered to get $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's B R O O K L I N E N dot com and enter promo code unfiltered. I, have to, I had to spell it out in my oh, head. B R O B I C T. I started with like a. <laughs> <laughs> Promo code unfiltered for $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's Brooklyn. And don't make me sell it again. <laughs> That's brooklinen.com and use promo code unfiltered. Thank you so much, Brooklyn. And we love your sheets. You keep us keep us cool. You keep me cool because my body gets hot every night. Thank you, Brooklyn. And thank you. Oh, guys, this is my day two of not smoking puff. Good. I, I just saw you hit it. Okay, well, that was my first time hitting it in two days. But like, <laughs> normally, I'm smoking it every second. Like, I'm just. <sighs> so, this is my second day of me not Tell having it. Tell him in to my be hand. patient. Like, you are going to be so cranky in the beginning. I know. I do like, really he was cranky. In, do, do he like, had a push um, past it. How cranky have I been the past couple of days? Do, uh, You're going to be miserable. It's been pretty bad. It's I've worth it. Do, do the, the patches. The patches? Yeah. I heard that should make you hallucinate. Oh, Wait, really? They give yeah. some wild dreams, I've heard. Mm -hmm. Pork gives me wild dreams. I have <laughs> nightmares when I eat pork? Yeah. You have nightmares? Yes. You have night when you eat pork? <gasps> yes. Be be like aware of it. And, like next time you eat like pork like for dinner. Why? Well, dude, it, it always happens to I'm me. I'm going to eat a lot of it before I go to sleep next time. <laughs> and I'm just going to see if it works. No, seriously. Like just be, be conscious. Tell me why this happens. So all fucking night, I don't dream about anything. Okay. Just literally zip nothing. And then I wake up at like 10 o'clock in the morning. I have to wake up at 1030 to work out. So I fall back asleep and I have the most just vivid fucking dream. Yeah. Vivid yeah, dream. Like, on, like basically, on, a, on a, on a quick 10 minute, like nap that I took. Yeah. I, I, I remember it. I was it was a. T I, I was doing a pop quiz on the show Mad Men, but John <laughs> Hamm was my teacher. It was. What do you know about Mad Men? I don't know anything about. I've never seen the show this before. I've been Mad watching Mad Men every night before I go to it's bed. It's just a dream. It's so bizarre. So, and the people in my class are like Ella, like Ella Priya. Ella was next to me, and a few others I forget, but I clearly remember her. And I'm just trying to copy off her, and I'm like not letting John Hamm see me because he's the teacher. It was the craziest Weird. fucking dream. Oh, but why is it happening to you? You're asking. Why did I not dream anything all fucking night? And then you may have. I got to, like, a quick. You do there's dream. four stages of sleep. It's like stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, and then you go into REM, which is rapid eye movement, and then that's like the state where we're dreaming. We really only dream like a little bit towards the end of our dreams. God, when you so create, that's a and they only last like thirty seconds. Of sleep right? and awareness, and then you go back. It's usually you have the most vivid dreams ever. Do you think there would be a time where we can just like kind of record what we're like dreaming? Just we're, they, they're getting close to it. They have technology where they've been able to like uh, create like images um, really? of what the person's thinking about in their dreams. Could I you imagine every morning instead of like me telling you what I dreamt about? Oh, watch what I dreamt about. Or like, do you th then you feel like Heath, Heath would wake up and goes, No, 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 we're not watching that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, let's, let's watch see. your yeah. dream last night. <laughs> oh, maybe not. I've been having dreams um, where wherever I like, if I'm editing the podcast here, I'll usually just like end up falling asleep here mm -hmm. and I'll have a vivid dream about the situation that i'm in hold on what is that what do you mean okay those have been oh. my dreams for like the past couple weeks so like i was laying here i felt i did the podcast i fell asleep in my dream i was editing the podcast i woke up heath came in at 3 a.m and i was like you're up at three and he was like, yeah i'm just gonna go get breakfast like are you done with the podcast but i was in this we were in the same clothes that we fell asleep in it was so real and then the other night, the neighbors were having an insane party. And in my head, I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I, I don't want the cops to like, come to my house. And then I have to deal with it. And it's not me and like all this stuff. I fell asleep. I fell asleep actually upside down on the bed, like not like where the headboard yeah, is. Yeah. I like flipped around in my dream. I was sleeping the same way. I got up. 
The cops pulled up to our driveway. I had explained to them that the neighbors were having a party. It was the same song that was playing. Like, it, it's like I'm dreaming exactly what's happening. Huh. Strange. It's really yeah. weird. That, that's a thing, like uh, something projecting. Like we, astral we've projecting or something like that. Yeah, astral projecting. We've talked about this. Yeah. We have mm-hmm. a little bit. Do you, ha- do you ever have dreams that you like mm-hmm. uploaded the podcast and it was just like something wrong. Cr- just wrong or something? No. Oh, Nothing I, like that. I still, have, no. I still have nightmares about college that there's a class I have not gone to. Like I, <laughs> there's a class I've been forgetting. And there's the things tests, that keep mad. You know, in assignments I have not done. It, I, I get what he's saying. There's times where I have dreams where I'm not, I'm I, like, I don't make it to something, but it has nothing to do with anything I'm doing in my life. It, yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just, just like something the test. I'm forgetting about. The and I'm test. like, I haven't yeah. gotten to that thing that I need to do. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And Should we keep, start writing down our dreams when we wake I think up? Dreams to a point are interesting, but it's like, hey, you want to hear about this thing that didn't happen? I yeah. know, I can't stand it. Like, I, I don't really, I rarely tell people because I'm just like, they don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, they really... Want to hear what my brain came up with when I was yeah, unconscious? It's not, yeah, it it's, didn't happen. Like, didn't why? Ha- and then you get so worked up about it. It didn't happen. Yeah. Move on. Didn't you uh, wake up to hearing something else a couple nights ago? <gasps> oh, my podcast. Yeah, the podcast was playing fucking super loud. Like yes. a week ago, weird. Like, I thought my neighbor was playing it like as like a, as a ta- like ta- to taunt us. It was at four thirty in the morning. It was the scariest fucking thing. Wait, where uh, was it playing from? On the TV, it was just playing. full blast. On the TV in the living room, which happened oh, full blast. Oh, it was in the living room. <laughs> yes, I woke up and I heard it. I went up and I went to go take a pee, and I thought you were like up with Todd, just shooting the shit. Like y'all went out that night or something, and no. I'm like, and I'm walking in, and then I hear my voice, and I'm like, huh? It's just playing on the TV. I think for some reason my phone may have been connected to the TV and like it just kicked on. Got it. Okay. Some it's something That's happened f- with the TV codes and the YouTube accounts and everybody's phones. That freaked me out completely. Hmm. Also, the other night, I went to bed really, really early and but and I woke up and I heard this scream in the house. And it was what? My heart, dude, sank. I was like, where is someone's in pain and i feel like it's todd but it felt like when i woke up though it felt like it was like four in the morning like way too late and not early enough for it to be anybody but it was you and him and todd had came home late and he was just goofing around oh and it screamed but i heard the scream and like i got so close to the door like I yeah, we didn't know it. Matt was home. Me, me and Todd were just like talking in the living room and like loud, like nobody was home. And Todd was. And Matt I was home the whole do, time. I thought it was the end. I <laughs> really? really did for a good three minutes. I hadn't been that scared in a long time. I don't get spooked or anything. That shook me up. Where I'm like, Todd just. There'll got be times killed. where Todd runs into my room in the, like late at night because he he'll see shit in his room, but like he's just not fully up. I feel like he's he's got something that's been following him. Like, cause he's, he constantly has like shit like that where he like will wake up and like see shit. But like, when like it, like it, it's been every single place that he's lived in. I think he could tap into that. I feel like a medium could, if he came across a medium, I feel like they would say something. He has, I don't think he's tried it yet. Yeah. Is it following us? I would love for them to just be in his room and see what the fuck he's saying. Dude, I haven't been the same after that horror movie you just showed me the other day. Sinister. It's a good movie. Have that. you seen it? It's a great. Familiar. It's a great idea so, for a movie. It, it, other horror movies have scared me more than that one, but that one stayed with me. Yeah. I keep thinking about that damn pool scene. Yeah, it's it's like I I think about it. I've thought about it three or four times today. So the movie's about this family. They move into this house, and they the guy finds this like uh, box in the attic. Oh, it's tapes. Up in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ethan Hawke. Yeah. I love and, you know, Ethan Hawke. Good movie, good movie. Uh, family, like, hang, hanging out. Family barbecue. Yeah. Family uh, pool party. And it's just, like, All these horrific deaths. tapes. But yeah. That scene in the pool where the... Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. You the, know what I'm talking about? That stays with you. I'm like, like who wrote that in? What is that? Psychopath. It's just such a brilliant shot. Yeah. God, it's spooked. Do you like scary movies, Mariah? You ask me this all the time. <laughs> Yeah, it's her favorite. A compilation of Zane asking, "You like scary movies? <laughs> oh, whatever. Like when I tell you I like scary, you you like them? You like them? <laughs> I love scary. I movies. don't see you watching them. That's why I forget. You don't see me watching anything. When do I watch TV? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can't. But when she does, it's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Yeah, good. I love watch. Scary well, watch movies. Sinister. Watch Sinister. It's very good. Sinister. Yeah, that's really good. Matt, I know you want to talk about this, but you had in here that 
if we remember our first kisses. You've always wait. Where where did you get these? You just notes? said it like two weeks ago, and I oh, wrote it yeah, down. Oh yeah, first kisses. I it was so what, interesting. Yeah, what was uh? I just think it's a fun topic. Your first kiss. Yeah, I think I had like multiple first kisses. There, there's only one first. There's only yeah. You only wait, remember. When is your first kiss then? Oh, like I get if, what you're if you're saying. playing spin the bottle, is that your first kiss? Yeah, yeah. Your if first you're playing kiss. house in like the second grade on a playground, is that your first kiss? I don't think so. Oh, hold on, it's not. I feel like it is. Like like a uh, like a first grade pop kiss. Like in like, elementary school, you'd play in the playground, and there and like there's times where you would like hide off and kiss but like it was like oh, i didn't i didn't pop kiss anybody until i was 15 <laughs> but you, wow. didn't, you didn't like each other you just did it because you did it one girl like came on to me when i was like in like first or second grade oh. on the playground <laughs> i was like you want to play house like, okay, you're my husband. she was like you're my husband and we were sitting like down like in like now I, we have to kiss and she was like kiss and i'm like let's go <laughs> we were like we weren't, we weren't making out but we were just right, like of imagine kissing. being a teacher and you seeing catch that. like seeing oh two Gosh. Like first graders, like make it. I would, I would be mortified. <laughs> like I would. What, what? What are we doing here? Oh, you know Matt. What? What Matt would do? No, she did. We were playing house. I definitely did not her, incentivize her. that at all. <laughs> she came on to me. But I then really said, wanted, "Let's go." What's I her really name? I really want to say her name. It's so funny. I know I don't want to say her name. She is like she is like three kids now. <laughs> We'll say her name. <laughs> no. And then I felt like, then I had one like in middle school that I was like, okay, that was a kiss, but it was kind of like a spin the bottle thing, mm. but it was like her first kiss and it was kind of my first kiss too. Okay. Nice. Do you remember your first kiss, Heath? Yeah, I was in high school. <laughs> Whoa. Really? really? Yeah. No younger kisses. No. Really? Everyone was, like, was making out in middle school. Yeah. Like I, yeah. Nobody wanted to kiss me, but everyone was going I to was the like, movies. Yeah. I was like, I don't know it. what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All the seventh grade girls were making out with the eighth grade boys, and we were in seventh grade as the guys. And but none of when them we got to, to eighth grade, the yeah. seventh graders had one another. And another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't until I think I was in, I was in ninth grade or tenth grade. Good. Ninth grade. Got a kiss. Yeah. Um, I just remember, like, I was a late bloomer, and I was like, just really. I guess like it just felt weird because I was older and I was having these very like childish thoughts because I remember like we kissed and I was just like, I just remember it felt like Cheerios. Like, I don't it know. Felt, it was, was it like it was she very, had some like chap rough lips? Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Crispy. No, it was just very like, oh, oh very just like weird. a. Yeah. And I was like. That was not what it I just, expected. Just very, like, I was like, that was like, yeah. that was like kissing a Cheerio, and that was my whole thought and like <laughs> my takeaway from the whole night. Where was it? Was it um, in the parking lot mm. after what a movie football game? You walk oh, nice. oh, typical, Classic. typical. <laughs> yep, I remember mine. Mine was in uh, Forest Hills Elementary School. Oh mean. no, no, sorry, before that. Oh. Preschool. <laughs> Shout out to the it was, it was, it, No, it was uh, it was somewhere between kindergarten and uh, fifth grade for sure. It was before Forest Hills. It was between. School. I went to Forest Hills. I, I went to Forest Hills uh, in third grade. It was before that I went to school in Miami, which was in like first or second. So it was first or second grade. Her Zane. name is Maria. I remember this Zane. this clear as day because I got in. I went to detention for. I got a slip, not detention, but I got in trouble. I got a slip and my pervert. Yeah, my dad or mom had to uh, like pick me up because it was like a big deal. They because caught they, you kissing. They caught us kissing. Yeah, like, no, like how? kissing. There wasn't a kiss. Yeah, no, no. It this was is a, your first. It kissing? was a kiss. It was a kiss, and I did, we just got in trouble because it was in school. Well, that's so pure. But but, but before but uh, <laughs> we what? Were, uh, your first blissful moment. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> You're out. Get out of here. No, but just like that whole moment, I just couldn't believe that I was getting treated like a criminal. I just remember that day. I was like, oh my God, kissing girls is a, cr is a crime. Like, what and the fuck's going on? And that's why he doesn't on? do it now. And that's why I don't do it now. I haven't kissed a girl in fucking 18 years. <laughs> but Man, in we the hallway? 
Where was it? It was mm. leading from a classroom outside. We would we used to um because she had a Furby. Remember those Furbies? Yes. Oh, love them. In so school? She, she yeah. So she would have the Furby sitting on her desk, and I remember she was like, <laughs> "Can you get a Can you get a Furby too?" So I had to get a Furby because she got a Furby. So we'd have our Furbies on our you school get, desk. What kind of class were you running? It was like I think you it was like Furby. It was like kindergarten. Get that taken away. <laughs> you can have <laughs> no. You couldn't bring anything to school. Oh, it, was, it, was, see, it might have been school. show and tell. You had like yeah. you were able to have it in that class. It was like weird. You had to like you you let like she let it sit on your desk, but you couldn't like play with it. It was just kind of there. And so you got a Furby. I had to get a Furby because she wanted me to and get a Furby. She's like, I'm kissing this man. <laughs> <laughs> you brought that was, Furby to class, and we're like, I got, it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> there, the Furbies are kissing. <laughs> I remember we had to let the Furbies be, and then we went outside. It was like it was outside of a classroom door, but it was like behind it. So you oh, y'all were being sneaky. Oh, about we were 100 You knew being exactly sneaky. what you were doing. This was no accident. It wasn't an accident, obviously. You guys were but, together. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she was my girlfriend. Okay. Did you bring the Furbies outside, like with each other? You no, no, the... we left the Furbies when we did the kiss. <laughs> I think I just got rid of my Furby. Really? Yeah. And it was your idea to keep it, so, like yes. keep it as long as possible. I have a Barbie from the year 2000. It's one of those Barbies in the plastic. Not much has changed. Uh, Wait, oh, like underwater. the big ones? It's not that big. It's oh. like this big. Do you remember like but the she's in a But she's bar. in a gold ballroom gown and it has the year 2000 with a disco ball. Like they were collectibles <laughs> and you never, you're not allowed to take it out of the, the box. Uh, like they're not meant to value. play with. Yeah. So yeah. I still have that. It's from the What do you think it's worth? I don't know. I don't think it's take that it much out yet. The box. Yeah, can, can you take a picture of it? Oh, I'm scared. No, it's animal like, so moving like my <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> well, like, I don't think it's old but, enough yet. I'll wait until well, I don't like, like that'd 50. Be a huge fucking like uh, video. Huge video. If I'll you know it, it's I'll not it worth that much, let's just right. open it up. That Barbie's never seen the light of day. <laughs> I know. That poor thing. <laughs> it comes alive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's just like it's Darth Vader coming alive, like. <laughs> Open it up and get swooped by a bird. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> that Barbie hasn't seen You're the free. light. A Barbie deserves to be played with, right? <laughs> oh my god, we're not funny. <laughs> Man, Mariah, first kiss? Or wait, did we talk about? Yeah, it's nothing oh. like that. That oh. was all funny. The Furby shit, <laughs> fucking weirdo. <laughs> I was in pre-K. Give me a fucking break. Pre-K. It was like, or and you got to no, sorry, kindergarten. Sorry, kindergarten, not pre-K. Sorry. Okay. That's funny. Oh, oh man. God. What if I found that girl, Maria? Like, was I'm what sure if I was can. able to find her? You definitely can. She's probably still in Miami. Come on. What if she's like kissing the, what boys if she's in like first grade? She's in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> I did that in like high school. I went through like my elementary school yearbooks to find like, oh, remember that girl? And I'd find them on like MySpace. And I'd message them, and they're like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> did oh, any yeah. of you ever have a big friend? Like, it'd be friend, like you had, just had a big friend that would just protect you in, like, the hallways at school? There was, I, had, I, had, I had a friend like that for one year. A big friend middle that would school. protect you in the hallways? Just a big, just, no, just a big friend. Just like a no, just like a big, no, like oh, a yes. tall, oh, big oh friend. Oh, my gosh, yes. How, yes. how do you not know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Her name was her name was Pri her name was Princess. And she was just like just really tall and strong. And she would like protect me in the hallway. Like if anybody fucked me, she would fucking protect me. Yeah, my person so was like, So if somebody was picking on you, you're like, Princess! No, no, no. She was just there. She would just be there. He didn't yeah. have to call. She was just there. She was just there. <laughs> princess. But she was a friend go. of mine. She was a friend for like a year. Where is Princess school. now? I don't know. I'd love to find now her. She's the queen. <laughs> she's the queen. Of, she's the queen of England now. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your whole sailing thing you're trying to get going i want to take sailing lessons i think, I think it should. fits you yeah you think so that's yeah. not out of the blue at all i was watching yeah, mama mia. i was watching mama mia and the guy in mama mia had his boat and i was like sailing would be kind of cool can wait can you like learn to sail and i googled it and you can yeah so i'm gonna take sailing lessons probably in the next two weeks i'm gonna do an introductory course and if i like it i'm gonna get uh do the asa uh, 101 certification are you gonna get a sailboat um you know what I, or just I, to learn the are, skill are set you, yeah are you gonna be able to like buy one for yourself yeah i can afford a sailboat. Are, you gonna, are you gonna invite us to on your boat yeah. i am not getting on your fucking sailboat 
I'll be ASA 101 certified. I'll be damned. <laughs> no, I'm learning, but I'm really curious in it. And it's something that I've always wanted to do because it actually looks really cool. And I think, and it, apparently it's kind of, there's a lot to learn, but it's easy once you know it. <laughs> I guess you're mad already just flying on a rope. <laughs> I, I want to know. The sail all, swings it, it, around, <laughs> smacks There's a lot of yeah. terminology and in, in following the wind and the current of the water. I think it's so interesting. And There's I something like, do really it. like primal and like cool about yes. it. Yes. Um, I think it's fascinating. Because I'm not like a motorcycle guy. I don't want to go in like <laughs> anything. I don't want to go on anything fast and put around here. I want to hit the water. Go on a little adventure. No, All sailboat right. is perfect for you. Yeah. Like, I can't see you, like, trying to learn how to, like, like drive a... Do you drive it? A yacht? Well, you, yeah. like, yeah. you, you, yeah, use the motor to get yeah. out of, like, the, the docks and the bays it's, and you're stuff. You're very, like, and old you, school. Yeah, there's, like, no gas. You just use the wind and you cruise. Matt, only if you wear a sailor outfit with a sailor hat. Oh, yeah? Then you can do it. That's yeah. what you want. Just, like, a nice little... Yeah, just, like, full-on blue and white stripe, like, typical <laughs> sailor outfit that you have to wear. <laughs> Whenever but you I, take us I out, re I really want to like do a, it. Like a catamaran. Um, Those oh, are eventually that would be really, really dope. No, I've been looking at these like uh, Catalina twenty twos and okay. stuff. I hope are you gonna get with a right. room in the bottom where you can yes. go inside oh, and there's yeah, room? Yeah, yeah. Nice for sure. For sure. Did getting... you see the the guy who just like he got found, but uh, he filmed his like goodbye to his family. Um, he was like oh, scuba God. diving with like people and got separated from his group, and was just out there by himself. And it was like just open like open water. Yeah. And like he filmed a video. Tens and tens and tens of miles off the coast. Um, and How then, did he get that separated? Well, sometimes they all go down. The boat picks everybody up and they don't Yeah, the boat everybody. left without him. That's um, crazy. And he was just out there for, I think it was like hours and hours and hours. And then uh, uh, he saw a rescue plane coming, like a, like a helicopter. And they, they found him in the water. Alive. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, alive. God. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. But he Jesus. like just seeing like somebody film like a goodbye is the fucking most awful thing in the world. Like imagine like you think like you're done. That's it. And like you I, film I have your final to, like, moments. And he shared the video of it? He like it was oh, like yeah, on I'm sure TikTok. He did. Like he like posted like I'm sure he did. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know, I though, if I got rescued from that and like I had that video, I'd be like, I don't would you oh, put that no. out? Yeah, because that's like that's a moment where you felt like your life was over. Of course you'd share that. I'd be like, hey, this was like the moment where I was done. Oof. Man. I don't but think like, I would want to hear what that loved one was about to say to me, though. No. Like, if, if like you got stuck or stranded yeah. and you like filmed like a good yeah. Yeah. Me, I would I would I would not want to hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, yeah, that's why I, I am like ooh, about like that like tender yeah. of a moment. Yeah, but I would just separate it. But with the sailing thing, it's like I don't want to do like adventurous sailing. I'm not trying to like you know cross the Atlantic or Pacific or like get in like some crazy waters. It just sounds like a fun hobby to take. Like I just love how you still go Catalina. Yeah, just take friends out and go do it. Like we could go do that. Would that would take like six hours. To if get I had Catalina. the certification, I knew what to do, and I could like teach you guys. That would be so cool. If we just, you think it would take that long to on a little sailboat? I mean, it was in. It's like just over an hour. I think it would there. take it would take probably like six or seven hours to sail a sailboat to Catalina. Cat Catalina. That's what I just said. Yeah. Oh, that's a long ass fucking time. It's like from sun up to like we we wake up really early, we get on the boat, and then you know we cruise, and then by noon we're in Catalina. Oof. That's a lot of hours to worry oh, about. But then you got to sail the back at night. Yeah. Uh -uh. Well, we'll stay the night. We'll stay on the boat. Have you seen the storm? Huh? What's that movie? You can also Airbnb out your boat for people just to stay on it. Oh, like a little dock slip and then you like... Well, you pay like your dock slip fee is like what? For a 30-foot boat in Marina Del Rey is like $676? A month. A month. Yeah. Yes. But you charge it $200 a night just for just someone to sleep on it? I would not want to spend $200 to go into a tight little it's, sailboat. I've done it twice. Oh, like... Uh, like on the dock? Yeah, you're strapped to the dock. Oh, I thought like in the water. You're no, on the I would dock. get like going oh, out yeah, for the night. Oh yeah, just get a hotel. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I thought it was like, in the water. It, I'm like, like, like oh, that's you're like, okay, isn't this great? Beautiful. You walk out to the dock and then you like crouch down and you're getting into this little. Oh. It's fun. I mean, I guess that's for people that have a, like you know are tight on a budget. That makes sense. It's two hundred dollars a night. Oh, I'm not paying attention to everything. It's, going it's like adventurous it, it, on it, a budget. Maybe that's more than Holiday Inn. <laughs> I thought it was a fun little experience. Staying on a boat. No, for... I mean that that doesn't Continental sound breakfast? like a good. Don't have it. 
Gym doesn't have it. Community pool doesn't have it. I thought. Well, where was the continental breakfast Hot at tub? Yosemite? <laughs> huh? You're not an adventure. You're literally just on the dock. It's where, a there's fun a whole... experience getting to stay. I in love a getting cool like mad at <laughs> Mariah. Know, back know, me like, up. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah is just here going. <laughs> Don't you think it's fun? This has been going on. For I think too it's long fun for my. I think it's worth capacity. it for a couple to like go have a driver drive them out to the water and then they sleep on the ocean. You know what I mean? Sure. I I think it's a fun little game. You wake up and you wake up and you're in the middle. All right. Of the well, ocean. we're not doing it. <laughs> water the night and just kind of. Okay. Oh, oh, like a, like a uh, a water bed. Sure. Okay. Like he's now it's. Wa- $35, $40 is worth it yeah. for that. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode. Please make sure to check out Cremota Coffee and get yourself a K-Cup or a bag of your own. And thank you, as always, for watching. We really appreciate it. You guys can check out uh, this podcast. We post every Monday, the audio forum on Spotify, on the Google uh, Podcast. And what are the fucking apps that we post on? I, it's I don't okay. even you know. Say the same. Spotify, Spotify and Apple. Spotify and Apple. Apple, right? Spotify yeah. and Apple. Anchor? Spotify and Apple. The biggest one. iHeartRadio, Pandora. Mm-hmm. And then we post a video video form of this podcast on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Every, every Tuesday. Tuesday. And on Napster. <laughs> More you can also download it Crackle, on LimeWire. HBO Max. Fair Share. <laughs> Kazaa. <laughs> Do those even exist? Anymore? No. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll see you next week. Love Bye. you guys. Bye. Bye. See y'all fuckers next week.